Hey everybody, welcome to the Master of Passive Income Show. My name is Dustin Heiner, and I'm here to help you learn how to quit that J-O-B, that just overbroke job, by investing in real estate so you never ever have to work a job again. Today, I'm super pumped to bring on Charles and his student, Lee, who is absolutely crushing it in this real estate investing. Lee, thank you so much for being here on the show. You're welcome. I'm excited to be here. Man, so this is great. So you've been working with Charles, who's a Master of Passive Income coach for a little while now. What got you started investing in real estate? And like, tell us a little bit about yourself and then what's your eventual vision, like your goals for your real estate investing? I've bought and sold a few houses in the past. You know, typical buy a house to live in, remodel it and sell it for a profit, which gets you, you know, gets you excited about the whole thing. And then I did, I actually had a fourplex in Phoenix uh, when I lived down there, which was, which was fun. And I had it with a friend we sort of butted heads. So that, that went away. So I've always had an interest in it. And it was only the past couple of years since I moved to Minneapolis that um, unfortunately I got divorced about 18 months ago. And, and once we sort of got the finances sorted, I was able to then focus on doing what I wanted to do, which was I've always wanted to get back into real estate. So I wanted to do a little research. I came across you on YouTube, signed up for a couple of free courses. I think I bought, I paid, you know, 10 bucks from one of your YouTube shows or podcasts for the green light analyzer. And then I bought your course, you know, it's just digging a little deeper each time. And the course was great. Um, You know, so much information, but I know myself, I need to know someone is holding my hand through the process. So then I signed up for, uh, I spoke to Charles, and, you know, and then we, I signed up for the coaching and that was the, you know, what got me over the goal line. That's terrific. And we have both Charles and myself both doing coaching and it's so much fun for me. And I know Charles as well, cause I've talked to you plenty of times, Charles, it's just so much fun when we see our students become successful. So talk to us, Charles, about the, working with Lee to getting that first property under his belt. And now we know that he's got multiple properties now and it's still moving and growing. So talk to us a little bit about that. And then Lee, let us know how we can, like how ourselves should jump into this real estate investing game. Yeah. That, so that is um, so awesome, Dustin, what you mentioned. And I remember Dustin, like you and I, we we speak about this all the time. It's so amazing. Like when we have students that do even better than us, like we I mean, we just love that. Like Lee, like literally, like I I want you to be more successful than me. Dustin, the same way when when Dustin coached me, and this is so amazing to like for me to be coached by Dustin and then for me to coach you, Lee, it's just so amazing, like for us to like be on this together. And so and, and so just what I love about you, Lee, is you know, I know you, you came in and you had like big goals, you wanted to achieve your goals, and and you know, we started off by by documenting Lee's goals. And, you know, we were able to, to have those goals up um, and, 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 and have it in the front of us each time to, to, to see where he wanted to go. And we, we adjusted those goals over, over time. And Lee has some nice personal big goals, too, <laughs> which is awesome. And so I would say um, um, to answer your question, Dustin, how we got started, we got started like um, from first setting the goals. And so we can be on the same page and to figure out what's the best way that I could serve him as his coach to help him achieve his goals. Lee, going through those goals and then seeing the vision for the direction that you want to go, how did that help you in making sure that you're going to keep moving in the direction you want to go? It gives you, it gives you clarity on what to do, but also it brings everything to life. If there is a reason for you to do this and you know the end game, or not even the end game, like I have a goal of where I want to be in 12 months, which is, you know, like you say, successfully unemployed, right? I, yeah. I want, now whether, you know, I still love what I do. I'm a personal trainer and I'll still do some of it, but I'll do it if I want to on my schedule when I'm in town. So we've set quite an aggressive goal, me and Charles, um, of, you know, being in 12 months, passive income. I don't know if you want me to talk numbers, but I can't, you know. Please, please do, oh, yes. Okay, I, I don't need too much. Five grand will get me, I could live quite happily, right? So we've set a goal. We need about 
10 to 12 properties performing at the level of the ones that I've found so far to get me there. So that brings it to life that when you're in the minutia and the, and the weeds of researching properties, putting offers in, being rejected or just being ghosted, you know, or being told no, um, have it knowing why you're doing all this makes it so much, you know, just keeps it a front of mind of this is why we're doing this. This is why it's eight o'clock on a Friday night and you're digging into Zillow, you know, and why? Because I can see where I can be in 12 months time. And we definitely, you know, reach for the stars. You might land on the moon, but we've kind of hit the ground running a bit, Charles, haven't we? It got, it got a bit fast, a bit quick for me. But I, I couldn't be more excited for where we're at. So, and you've done so so fantastic so far, Lee. Just I know it's big goals. So, like, so Dustin will tell you, like every every student, you know, they come with different goals. Um, they some students may just want one property in 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 twelve months. Some people students want two properties. And so you have this big goal. And that remind me of me too. And I had this big goal and Dustin really helped me to achieve those goals. I was in your shoe. I was like, man, I want like 12 properties in 12 months. And so, so Dustin really helped me to create a plan to achieve that goal. And, um, and so you've done Lee, let's talk about this some more because you was, were able to close on three properties totaling six rental units within three months, man, that is just, that's just awesome. <laughs> Yeah, from from day one, you know, researching, uh, I sent you a million properties, you know, or we didn't even know initially where to look. I started, you know, I live in Minneapolis and you start looking there and you, you just, you go negatives, nothing works. So then you zoom out on Zillow and find a little plot. And, and then I came across a great little, you know, place the, um, in Iowa that, just started working and I, I don't know how many properties I sent you Charles and I made so many mistakes too. I was like, this one's a winner and you were, you've got your real estate taxes completely screwed up Lee. And then it was like, oh, that's not gonna work or, you know, um, but it was like Dustin preaches right from the start, build the business. So, you know, I got my LLC set up, bank accounts, et cetera. But then I spoke to property managers in the area I wanted to invest realtors you know get the team set up so i had that and you know we just kept looking at properties looking at properties sent them over to the realtor ran them by the property manager and then you know it was just constant it was every day putting something in and then um i found a fourplex that just my realtor was like excited my property manager was like we're in I send it over to you. It's going to cash. It's cash flowing, you know, right off the bat. It's everybody was like thumbs up. And I send it over to a couple of other friends. And the for me, it's safety in numbers. The more people that got eyes on it, you know, and we put our offer in and we got, got accepted. Then I found my realtors like, there's this cool little single family home that I think would be a real winner. Because once so he hold see- on, hold on, Lee. Let, let let's because you got that first property. It was a fourplex, correct? Yeah. That's awesome. So you got that fourplex under your belt. How quickly after getting that first one did the second one come? No, we closed them on the same day. Because <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, when they start working with us, you know, they're they're taking forever on their own trying to buy their first property. And then they start working with us and it takes time because you got to learn, you got to build, you, there's some work you got to do. But once you build that business, once you're ready to move forward, then usually that second property comes within a week, maybe a month, two months at the very most, because you've already done all the hard work. And so was that, it sounds like the exact same place or way for you. The first one I overanalyzed, you know, I ran through Charles and then, you know, the second one, I, you know, once my realtor, you've got a bit of a little trust with your realtor. He needs to know that you can go through with the deal too, you know, because up until then you're just dancing a little bit. And so, yeah, the second one came along and I, you know, did the numbers and that was a cash deal. Um, but not my cash. Kind of. So 
it just so happened. What does that mean? That, what does that mean? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds, I sounds borrowed, awesome. I was able to borrow some money at a very good rate um, against some stock that I had that because I was going to sell stock to purchase and then I found out I could borrow against it and it's still cash flows up the wazoo. So I was like, well, let's go for it because I could pay cash for this house. And it just so happened we closed on the same day on the same two properties. But the second one was so much easier and so much, well, not, not easier in the process, but in my mental, you know, I'd done the first one and I knew that was good. And that I had a mortgage on that, an investment mortgage through my LLC. So there's obviously 10 times more paperwork. And there was a, a few touch and go moments where we weren't sure if that one was going to close. But in the end, we closed two on the same day. So Lee, let's let's touch on that some more, right? So so you, you talked about um, you know the, the the first deal and 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 the things that were going on. There, there was an it was a emotional roller coaster, and you did some things to overcome um, some of the obstacles you faced, which is so great because you were a problem solver. We we solved these problems together. Let's talk to talk about that some more, uh, because it was a reason why you closed two, two the two properties on the same day. Yeah. And, and just to go back to, you know, Dustin's question, I wouldn't be this far along and I don't want to, do, it, I wouldn't be this far. I would still be analyzing and Zillow in if it wasn't for you, right? Because I needed that handholding of Lee, this is a good deal. The numbers speak, you know, and so it was really nerving to put, put that first offer in and, you know, when it gets accepted, it is a mixture of absolute fear and excitement. Um, so I wouldn't have got, I wouldn't have done any of this without you. So I want to give you thanks, you know, on, on this sort of public forum right now, again, you know, of, of helping me make that first step. Um, and then when we got the second step, you know, it was a lot easier, but the, the first step, yeah, I made that, I got a lender. We just couldn't close. The lender wanted more and more information. And literally, you know, it was so much back and forth. We weren't sure if we were going to close. And then it was, you know, the mistake I made was not having a second lender ready to go to, you know, so it worked out. There was 1.2 days before we closed where the lender was like, we're done. We're not going to move forwards and you know it was crazy and i was texting you all day long they're gonna do but it worked out you know my mortgage processor jumped through hoops i jumped through hoops but we got the deal done and now everybody is like everybody's happy so how important is the idea of building the business first and what steps, not steps, like what, what tips did you learn along the way that you could pass along to anybody listening? Oh, mate, it's, it's everything in your course, man. It's everything. It's, look, I just followed it step by step. So here I went to my corporation and set up my LLC and you told me to do it for Wyoming. So I do it for Wyoming, you know? I followed your, everything you told me, mate. That's it. That's all I did. It's nothing's. My bank account's with Novo because you told me to go Novo. Mm-hmm. And that's actually, they're really cool, right? So everything you told me to do, I just, I did that first because that's easy stuff, right? You know, a few bucks to, you tell us exactly how to set up the, what options to go through my call. I just did that. Like, so that's easy stuff. I could do that, you know. Uh, I just followed the course, followed the videos, um, all that kind of thing. But then it was like, Again, I just follow the course to identify. I got very, you know, started very negative looking in Minneapolis because real estate has exploded here. Just like Phoenix is even worse. Just like California is even worse. But you zoom out and you look for those little red clusters, exactly what you tell us to do. And then I found a little cluster in Iowa and I'd never been to this place about six hours away but there's lots of clusters, you know, you set all your Zillow that you tell us to do. That's all I did. You know, I just followed, I call it FTDI, follow the instructions, you know? And, and so that's what I did. I followed your 
because that is black and white. It's do this, do this, do this. And then I, you know, zoomed out, moved over, checked an area out. But then there's some nuances because states are different. So Iowa is pretty friendly to landlords. But this area where I'm investing is called the Quad Cities. And across the river is I, uh, Illinois, completely different. Double the real estate taxes, right? And very uh, tenant friendly. So I looked at deals that on paper looked amazing. Then you find out there's tenants nine months in arrears and rent and they can't get them out. So you walk away from that one. So yeah, I found this pocket. I, it, it's totally working for me. So not only did we start moving on the second one, then a third one popped up. And I was like, I think I can do this as well. I had to juggle finances to make it work. But that one closes, well, that was supposed to close the same day as well. I was really panicking, wasn't I, Charles? I was like, yeah. I'm, closing on, <laughs> I'm closing on three properties in the same day. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I'm, I'm glad it sort of, well, actually, I'm not, it, it doesn't make a difference whether you bought two or three in the end. You know, it's just oh, another signature on a, you know, on a, on a, uh, the online paperwork program, you know. So that one's a little delayed with title with the seller. So that should close this week. If not, again, I'm going to follow your advice. and I'm not going to close like on the first or the second. I'm going to push it to the fifth. Get the rent in like you teach us. Right. So if we don't close in the next day or two, I'm saying we're not closing until the 5th of May. Well, I would say I would personally would say the 6th. You want to let that fifth close over so that sixth is there. They have the cash. If they don't have the cash, which is great, meaning they have to pay it in your pocket, even if they never received it from the tenant, they have to pay you, give you credit for it. So yeah, it's great. Now, when you're going through all these different, ty different types of financing and different scenarios, working with Charles, what's great that Charles and I love to do is give all the options that you could possibly figure out in your investing strategy and then you make the decision on what's the best for you. And so talk to us about getting financing because that's usually one of the biggest questions outside of finding a property. People always said, oh, how do I get financing to do it? But there are so many ways to do it. Talk to us about how working with Charles has helped you to get the, make sure you get the financing for all these properties. And it is the financing, right? So like I said earlier, I got divorced, right? So everything was joint with my ex. So I'm starting afresh, right? I'm like a new person, you know, 18 months ago, right? I'm also a personal trainer. The past two years, if you work in the fitness industry, gyms have been closed, right? So my, my W-2s are a joke, right? So no one's lending me, no one's lending me money to buy a house based off of my W-2s or anything, right? So I had to go shopping for an investment loan that doesn't take my personal, they take my credit, which is fine, but they're not taking my W-2s and my income as, you know, as, as part of the mortgage process. So there are mortgages out there based off of the property and the rental income. So I shopped around and found those, and I, you know, the interest rates are a little higher, closing costs are a little higher, but that's what I had to do to get me in the to get me get me invested. And the great thing about that is we don't pay those things. We have the tenants make sure that they pay for them, meaning we buy the property right and we make sure that everything's accounted for. Like we don't have to get a job to pay for all this. No, we're building the business and we're buying the right inventory that's going to fit in our rental market. And so that with that financing, tell me if you don't mind sharing when all four of these are closed, how much do you project the passive income from all four of these units? So I'm, I'm going to pretend, even though I bought two of them cash, we're already starting the refi process, right? They will both, uh, we'll be looking at almost three properties over $1,000 in passive income. And we haven't even played yet. They're all under market rents as well. So I spoke to my, you know, my property manager and... I think once leases turn over, there's at least 30 to 50 bucks on some of them, 
per unit that we can bump up over six units, you know, you're talking another 300 bucks in income, even more, you know, one of the houses, we're going to do a little remodel to it, only, only five grand, but it'll make it that much more desirable. And I, I'll tell you a number, I paid 48,000 for it. I'm going to put about seven, eight into it. It's going to rent for a thousand bucks a month. Okay. It's not bad. It's not too, sh and same with the second one. I paid 46 and a half. Now that's a bit more going to, that's rented right now, very under market, but it still cash flows a little bit. So I don't, I'm in no rush to do any major remodels, but then I can refinance them. They're both going to appraise around anywhere from 85 to 95,000 each. That's so phenomenal. Could, so you're refinance and pull that cash out and do it all over again. Tax free, baby. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Wash, rinse, repeat. So, you know, now I've got to wait a couple of months for that to do it, but we can, you know, my mortgage guy's already on it. And my second mortgage guy that I'm doing, I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to have the two guys now, oh, girls, sorry, two companies that I've sort of, you know, that know me a little bit now. So they're going to, we're going to refi with one of those. I'll pull all my capital out and make a nice tidy profit um, to go and buy more property and do the whole thing over. So we're in a little holding pattern, although Charles and I had a coaching session a couple of weeks ago, week and a half ago, about okay. complete private money because otherwise I'm sat in a holding pattern until I refi because I've tapped out all my resources. So now we're looking at private money, hard money that could potentially finance a hundred percent of the property. Absolutely. And you know, for, for anyone who don't know what private money is, you know, it's, it's pretty much borrowing money for from an individual rather than going to the bank. And this is something um, that we use all the time. We teach our students how they use too. And I'm so excited, Lee, that you're actually going to be um, tapping into that too. So you can continue investing and you can have multiple ways of buying properties. You talked about refinancing the properties. Um, you also, um, you know, using private money and hard money. And didn't you like cash in a Bitcoin and bought a property too, Lee? <laughs> so technically you could say one of these houses only cost me about, you know, 15,000 because Bitcoin went up uh, at the end of 2021. And so I cashed some out. And yeah, so I used profit off of Bitcoin to go buy a house. It was like, it's funny when you start thinking a little bit more open-minded, you know, things happen. So yeah, you know, so I borrowed money to buy four, you know, a fourplex and one and a bit houses and then sold some Bitcoin to buy that. So I've got, you know, that will be two, that'll be six, six doors, six units with very little of my own personal money, you know, out of pocket. Now, yes, you have, there's lots of, you've got appraisals, you know, you've got inspections, you've got earnest money, and that does have to come out. But you're talking, you know, hundreds of dollars, not thousands. So yeah, it's, you just got to get creative. And like, you've opened me up to a ton of ideas, Dustin's courses, and you know, the group chats in the group, get you thinking a little different. And so even now, I'm like, oh, how else can I pull some money out from somewhere? So, you know, it's really fun. And this is where Charles came in a lot. It's scary. It was, I was like nervous. I was like, Charles, you know, literally hundreds of thousands, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars are going to start moving through my bank account <laughs> in, in one direction, you know? And, and the mind is like, it's not, you're not gambling at, at Vegas. It's going into investments, but to see that money, you know, so it's, it, it is a big deal, but that's the importance, again, of having your team around you going, it's okay. I remember, you know, Charles was like, I remember my first property, you know? So, yeah, having, you know, all the support of Charles and, and you and 
you know, others in the group, but especially Charles, I got to give him all the props here. Yeah. Ch- uh, Charles mentioned this at the beginning where I, it took me about, I want to say about eight to nine years before I was really comfortable to be able to say I quit my job. Charles is going to destroy that record. And then Lee, it seems like you're going to be even faster than that. So it's great seeing how when we help other people, we can just see their lives change, which is great. And then we can also help even more people. So it is awesome. Now, Lee and Charles, is there any other ideas or or tips or anything that we can wean off of all these awesome things that you got? I mean, six pro- six units in what, as little as what, three weeks, I think you said? When did I start working with Charles? February? It's Yeah, it, it, um, roughly it's about six units in about three months, roughly. Three months. From mm-hmm. start to fit, yeah. Mm-hmm. I would wow. say for a month, five weeks, we were just looking and looking and looking, put in some offers. Do you remember, Charles, what I was afraid of? Can you remember that? What putting you in, of- and Charles had to, you know, hit me over the head several times, putting in <laughs> low ball offers. Do you remember that? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so he was... Um, he was afraid to to put in um, offers at discounts, you know. So that's one of the things we do as investors. We buy properties at discounts. And, you know, so that was um, one of the things, Lee, Lee, that Dustin also taught me. Because I, I remember, like, you know, for some reason I was so afraid of, like, going, you know, get, make an offer lower. And, you know, Dustin told me when you're nervous about putting that offer in, you know you're offering the right price because you're getting such a great deal. So this is something that we go through as well. And, and I know it was super helpful for me having Dustin there just to, just to show me. And, and I got the deal, you know, and, and one of the deals, Dustin, you remember, um, I, Lee, I really thought Dustin was going to cause me to lose this deal because <laughs> <laughs> Dustin kept on telling me go lower because he and, 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 and I was like, oh, my, I said, Dustin, are you sure? Like, I don't want to lose this deal. He said, Charles, the seller, seller is motivated. And I, I'm so thankful I listened to Dustin' advice on that, and I was able to get the deal with like thirty four thousand dollars in equity up front. That was so much fun, especially when they would come down. The seller would come down in their price, and we're negotiating. And I love negotiating; it's one of my favorite things to do. I love it more than poker and everything. Like it's just, it feels fantastic to me to be doing that. And they would counter and say, "Oh, you know, they drop like twenty grand." And Charles, you said, should I take it? I'm like, no, no. They literally just showed us their time. Like, if we're playing poker, they're playing with their cards facing us. No, we're not taking that. Go up $1,000 or go up like $1,500, $2,000, whatever, something like that. And they came all the way down. And eventually, you got $34,000 off of the asking price. It's because we're investors. We do it the right way. We make sure we make money in six different ways. Passive income, equity capture, market appreciation, forced appreciation, tax benefits and mortgage buy down. Like definitely check out all my YouTube videos and podcasts where I talk about all this sort of stuff, but we can definitely help you to get there. And what's great is, you know, Charles and I, we do this for fun. Like this is just enjoyable for us because we see our students' lives change. So man, Lee, this is great. I mean, you give up so many great advice and insights into how you did it. And hopefully people are going to take advantage of this. Now, is there anything else signing off before we get off? Is there anything else that you guys would like to share? No, I I would say like when I first got into this and read the courses, I was probably like a lot of other people. I'm like, I don't, you know, I've got no credit or no one's going to give me a mortgage. No one's going to take me serious, you know, and, you know, being a first, first time again, or first time, second time around it, it just, just follow the system to start, you know, you let the way Justin, then you train Charles in. You know, it is a system and get get your ducks in a row first. But you've also got to have a passion for this. Like, like I will sit on Zillow on a Friday night. I'll sit on Zillow at 6 a.m. on a Sunday morning. I love this stuff. It, it's, it's play. It's fun. Um, so you do have to enjoy it or find someone that does enjoy it that, you know, go along for the ride. Um, so it's a bit of follow the system, but have fun with it and and make that first step. And if you're if you, if you are, you know, the, the, the one on one coaching is it's a big investment. It's a big step. But I would not have done any of this if I didn't do it. So to me, it, it's you know, it's it's more than paid for itself already because I got properties. Um, 
so yeah, for anybody that's like thinking about it, save up, do what you need to do to get, get that, you know, be able to make that step because it's well worth it. I don't know, you know, and Charles has been amazing. So I can't, I can't wait to see where we're going to be in six months. Well, Char uh, Charles and Lee, we'll definitely have to have you guys on again as, you know, they say six from, months from now, maybe you get to eight, maybe you get nine or more properties. We'll definitely get on and get an update to see how, how you're going. Because like we always talk about, if it's a business, we just need to get inventory. We need to yeah. figure out how to buy the inventory and then put it into our business and we can continue to scale the business so we can eventually be financially independent. So, hey, Charles and Lee, thank you so much, you guys. I'm really impressed by both of you guys. You guys are doing a fantastic job. So thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you. Appreciate thank you, Dustin. Dustin. Thank, you, thank you for your course, your coaching, your groups. It's, it's so worthwhile. Thanks, Lee. I appreciate it, guys.